Pre-calc chapter 7, section 5. So we're going to be looking at matrices and operations with matrices. So two matrices are equal if matrices have the same size. So like M by N um, and same entries. So same size and same entries. To add and subtract matrices, uh, this is the book's definition of that. To add the two matrices, you're going to add the entries that have the same row and column. So basically you can call it the corresponding positions. So to add matrices, add or subtract matrices, matrices I usually just say you add or subtract the corresponding positions. The important thing to know here is the sum of two matrices of different orders is undefined. So if they have different orders, meaning their size, like the M by N matrix, um, if they have different orders, then it's called undefined. So let's take our matrix A uh, and let's add it to matrix B. So this is A plus B. And I'll show you all the work for these. Mentally, it should be pretty easy to do this. So matrix A plus matrix B. You just find the corresponding positions. So this is the first row, first column, first row, first column. I would add those together to get three. Then the uh, first row, second column, first row, second column, add those together, negative two. Second row, first column, second row, first column, add them together, get one. And then second row, second column, second row, second column, add to get seven. And so this would be our matrix solution. So add the corresponding positions. If we're doing A minus B, you just subtract the corresponding position. So you're going to do like 1 minus 2 to get negative 1. A negative 1 minus a negative 1 is going to be 0. So be careful with your adding the opposite, like double negatives. 2 minus a negative 1. So we're, again, we're adding that to get 3. Negative 1 minus 8. So you get negative 9. So that would be subtracting the two matrices. So adding and subtracting matrices should be pretty simple. You just add or subtract the corresponding positions. Sca scalar multiplication. So if you're given some matrix A that has a size, and then C is a scalar. So we have C times matrix A. You just take the C, the scalar, and multiply by every entry is what this is saying. So this is part C and D of the same problem. If you want to do 3 times A, so 3 times matrix A, which is 1, negative 1, 2, and negative 1. So you just multiply every entry by 3, and then there is your result. So the last part here, part D, to do 3 times A, which is this answer. 3 times A is what we got right here. So we have 3, negative 3, 6, and negative 3. And then minus double B. So if I take a matrix B right here and double everything in it, I get 4, negative 2, negative 2, and 16. And then we're going to subtract these. And so 3 minus 4 is negative 1. Negative 3 minus a negative 2. So we're going to get a negative 1. 6 minus negative 2 would be 8. And negative 3 minus 16 is negative 19. So that would be the result for 3A minus 2B. So those are some operations, basic operations. Now, the more complicated one is multiplying them. So we're given matrix A and matrix B. Notice how the size is an M by N matrix and an N by P matrix. Those can be multiplied. If you look at those, they both have those two the same. Um, and so the result, the product you get is an M by P matrix. Let me write that out again. An M by N matrix times an N by P matrix is equal to an M by P matrix. So when you are multiplying matrices, the these two, so the columns of the first one, the columns of the first one, and the rows of the second one have to be the same. If those are not the same, you cannot multiply the matrices. So we're going to take row one times column one. When you do that, you multiply. So it's going to be like negative one times 1. So that's the first entry in the row times the first entry in the column plus the second entry in the row 
times the second entry in the column. So you add those together, that's what they're showing right here, the addition. That's going to give us the first row, first column spot. Now we're going to do it again, first row, second column. So this is a negative 1 times negative 2 plus 4 times 7. We can do second row, first column and get 2 times 1 plus 0 times 0. So we're doing first entry times first entry, second entry times second entry, entry and we keep going down uh, left and right in the rows, up and down the columns. We can do second row, second column. So that's going to be 2 times negative 2 plus 0 times 7. Then we can do the third row times first column. That's going to be 1 times 1 plus 2 times 0. And then we have third row, second column. So we have 1 times negative 2 plus 2 times 7. And then you actually have to compute that. So this is going to be negative 1 plus 0, or negative 1. And then going down, we have 2 plus 0. And then 1 plus 0. The next column, we have 2 plus 28, 30. Negative 4, negative 4 plus 0. And then negative 2 plus 14, so it would be 12. So this would be the result of multiplying those. And you can always check it when you first start here. This right here is a 3 by 2, 3 rows, 2 columns. And we're going to multiply that by a 2 by 2. So because of these are the same, we can multiply them. Your answer is going to be a 3 by 2, and that's what we have, a 3 by 2 here. Let's do some more examples here. Let's do a times b. So we have 6, 3, negative 2, negative 4. And we're going to multiply to that negative 2, 0, 2, 4. So first row times first column. So we get negative 12 plus 6. So I've multiplied the 6 times the negative 2 to get negative 12, and the 3 times the 2 to get 6. So I'm going from left to right in the row, up and down the columns, making the first number, first number, second number, second number to multiply and then add the results. Do that again for first row, second column. I'm going to get 0 plus 12. And then I'll get second row, first column, and I'll get 4 plus negative 8. And Lastly, I'll have the second row, second column, and get 0 plus negative 16. And then we can simplify that a little bit. We get negative 6, 12, negative 4, negative 16. And that would be the result. Let's do b times a and see what we get for that. Negative 2, 0, 2, 4. 6, 3, negative 2, negative 4. So when we look at this, it's 2 by 2. We're going to get a 2 by 2 here when we're multiplying it. If I want to find this entry, if I want to find this blue entry right here, it's the first row, second column. So to, how do I find that? It's going to come from the first row times the second column. So I'm going to do negative 2 times 3, negative 6, plus 0 times negative 4, 0. If I want to find this entry, it's the second row, first column. So it's going to be second row, first column. 2 times 6 is 12, plus 4 times negative 2 is negative 8. And then we can go back to the start here. I did out of order on purpose to see if you understood what I was doing there. Negative 2, 0 times 6, negative 2. So it's going to be negative 12 plus 0. And the last one here, second row, second column. So second row, second column. So it's going to be 6 plus negative 16. And then compute the rest of it. So negative 12, negative 6, 4, 
and negative 10. Notice how a times b does not equal b times a. So the commutative property does not work for matrices. So be very careful about that. Some of these properties do not hold true for all of them. Let's look at a squared. So a squared. You could try going through this process. I'm just rewriting it out, expanding it, and then multiplying it. So you could try this and see how well you do. I could pause it and finish it up and compare. But you would get 36 plus negative 6. And then you would have negative 12 plus 8. 18 plus negative 12. And negative 6 plus 16. And then if we add those, we get 30, negative 4, 6, and 10. So that would be the squared here. So I'll have you try this one. Um, if possible, find a times b. And so here's A, here's B, go through and multiply, and then figure out which of these would be the result. And then you bring that in with work. Don't just give me an answer. Don't just use your calculator. Show how to do that um, mentally uh, with work. On your test, I'll get you some juice in a second, okay? On your test, I'm going to use variables to make sure that you know how to multiply without using a calculator. I, I. Yeah? See the mountains? So I did future, uh, I think I'm gonna leave that off. And so let's call that good for the night. Can you say bye? Bye. Say bye-bye. Bye-bye.